Good morning and welcome to Birthon. Today we're going to be having a look at a KT's. She's a 2002 launched Hardy 42 Commodore. So Hardy Marine have been building in Norfolk for a good long time, building a range of commercial and leisure boats. This is the 42. She is still in build today. You can order one brand new. But this boat has been through a few ownerships and was handed over in 2002. Now Hardy really excel at building a very, very, very sturdy, rugged, highly capable semi-displacement hull. Starting at the smaller end, they built Fantastic 20, going up to Flagship 65 at the moment. So looking at the Katie's, we've got the absolutely traditional blue hull band, white superstructure, and as you can see, we have a raised aft area for seating on top of the aft cabin leading on to a forward flybridge. So just set into the blue band here we're level with the front of the engines here the engine bay air intakes are just set into the hull. We have a sliding door on either side with access onto either side deck. Plenty of good solid stout handrails right the way around. For a boat of her age the teak is in extremely good condition she doesn't have the teak pad on top of the forward coach roof, but she does have full teak decks around and teak on her flybridge. So really good strong windlass up at the front. It's one of the heavy duty hydraulics on this boat. The single roller going over the front with anchor on and a spare roller for warp. Three forward facing screens. The RNLI have a pair of these boats, a brace of them for crew training, which really is testament to the build quality. And the Katie's has a central opening screen just to get a little bit more ventilation in. The more recent ones of these have electric heated screens. A Katie's has a powered demister with a three blower speed setting on it. This is the raised off seating area on top of this teak deck. So a locker on either side and then a wraparound seating area. And just to show you this aft area, we have a central lazarette, really good storage in here for fuel cans. And over the aft end, quite rare in these, this is a hydraulically operated bathing platform. So simple, simple raising and lowering of a tender as and when required. A pair of fender baskets on either side. And now we'll go up onto this raised area and up onto the flybridge. So as you can see, it's a really easy transfer between the different levels. This is the flybridge. So on the later iteration of the 42, we have the helm seats a little bit further forward, but this one has a central binnacle set into this removable pad in the center of the flybridge. Really good view over the forward end. Wraparound seating right the way around and a pair of really good sized lockers on either side. This is the central binnacle with plotter, autopilot, throttles, etc. Radar arch with open array scanner, Glomex aerial. She's also got an anemometer which reads downstairs on a clipper instrument. She has satellite television also provided linked in down to the uh, saloon TV. So a pair of simple plastic chairs for helm and co-pilot. That's that removable hatch there for more drastic engine work, which we hope will not be required. And then this aft seating area, so a locker on either side, and then this very, very fresh blue and white striped fabric upholstery. So now we'll have a look around her interior. So here we are in the main saloon looking just aft to starboard. Large wraparound seating area in blue Alcantara on the starboard side. Navigator's perch there. Helm seats for both pilot and co-pilot. They're the cab sprung type. Large sideboard to the port side. This is the access into the aft cabin. Then we have an extra refrigerator in this one really nice table that opens up with backgammon inlay on this particular model. Navigator's seat is 
can roll up if required and this is the chart area with radar, nav techs. This is all your 240 monitoring. Moving over to the 24 volt setup, tank gauges, plenty of switching, wipers right above the helm position, navigator's seat here, central E120 plotter by Raymarine. That's just a couple of steps up. And this is your main console area. Everything to hand, bow and stern thrusters hydraulically operated on this one. Engine management is on the port side with engine start stops, all lights, bilge pump, etc. Sorry, it's a little bit dark in here in the central area. Looking over to the seating area, I have an EPIRB, opening aft window, sliding windows either side, TV with satellite box beneath, and then also a sliding helms door on the port side for the pilot. Galley is set just down a couple of steps to the starboard side. The boat is trimmed really nicely in uh, varnished teak. It's in extremely nice condition throughout. Electric cooking only on this one. She's fitted with the mace generator, six and a half kilowatt. Laminated floor, plenty of storage in these cupboards. Good ventilation with an opening port light to give light and air. And the fridge is just set inboard in this carcassing here. Directly opposite the galley, quite rare in the 42, she has a single cabin set onto the port side. Really nicely trimmed out, good decent sized bunk, hanging locker, independent heater controls, light switches etc. And then very cleverly this has access from the galley area and also directly into the forward head compartment on the port side. So you can walk straight from this single cabin into the heads. So there's no separate shower stall in this iteration of the 42 but we do have a shower tray with a curtain and an umbilical shower. Head set forward and then heading off through this door got access into the forward cabin so it's a double V berth opening port lights opening lights on either side as well eye level lockers locker under the starboard berth again heater controls in here really nicely finished all properly lined out Storage underneath in this locker underneath the starboard V-berth. And access either, as said, into the ensuite or straight through into the galley area. So we'll head through here and start moving aft through the boat. As you can see, big, stout handholds throughout. It's all very, very nicely solid, real feeling of safety and security on here. We have a built-in dehumidifier just on the right side there as we head into this aft cabin. So cubby holes underneath for storage, large centerline double berth, vanity table over to the starboard side and hanging lockers on the port side, escape hatch come ventilation hatch set into the transom, that's the ensuite heads and shower. And then we've got a central locker which houses a washing machine. There's a point here for a TV and there's also a point for a TV in the forward cabin if needed. Really nicely trimmed out and masses and masses of storage for longer term travelling. So this is the aft heads. Little manual Jabsco just set on to the left there. Not sure if this is Corian but uh, nice blue speckled finish onto all the worktops and that's the shower stall. So it doesn't have a screen but it does have a curtain that pulls across and its own teak grating, shower sump pump etc. Just have a last look around this aft cabin. 
full beam, really airy for a 42, and it's a particular selling point of this mark of boat. So that's that dehumidifier just set into a cupboard. Loads and loads and loads of storage space on the port side and a really nice seating area over to starboard. Thank you for joining us. This is the Hardy 42 Commodore Akates, available now at Berthon.